So I've got some time today and I thought we would go ahead and do one of the videos where I'm just playing the game for however many hours. I don't really know how long it's going to be recording the good stuff. So diamonds, rares, max level animals, all that good stuff. And we'll just see what we can get. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this is I got something last night off for Hunga, uh, multiplayer server hopping, and that's going to be the first thing you see here in a couple of seconds. So there's that. And I just thought we'd try to add to it with some more Verhunga multiplayer server hopping. So we'll see what we get. I have been looking for a male diamond Gemsbuck for a while, and that has to be the biggest male Gemsbuck I've seen. Like, he's huge. I don't know if that's going to be a diamond, but I actually think he's stuck. There's a spot right there. Uh, I'm right by this outpost here, and that spot, they tend to just get stuck. So I'm going to try to get in uh, down low here where I can just go for a heart shot at like 75 meters and I hope that's gonna be the one he's actually got a track there So we're probably gonna know uh, Before we take the shot Man, I hope it is He I swear he dwarfs every other games buck that I've seen this entire hunt Those horns are huge Hey What are we looking at? That's not the right one. Oh, he's max weight. No way. Wait. Where did it go? Okay. I thought it just disappeared. All right. That means we have to make this shot. And I don't know what to do about him being stuck. I think he knows I'm here. He just turned. That's pretty doable, though. All right, good. I messed that up, but we got the, the frontal double lung. So I am going to get a can check because holy, that is one of the things I wanted. I just talked about it uh, in a video the other day. I'm not going to go for that. I cannot believe I messed that up and we still lucked out. I either got double lung or we're close enough single lung is going to work, but that should be a diamond. He actually kind of landed decent for a, a screenshot. Got one horn a little bit buried by the rock in the ground, but we got a diamond male. 957, so nearly max for a, for a male Gunsbuck. They max at 960. I wasn't even close to the heart. Maybe he did jump, but I was significantly further left than I should have been. I'm so lucky because he was kind of angled that way towards us. I'm so lucky he did that and gave me that, that double lung opportunity, but... Finally, that's another one of the things that I've wanted uh, for the trophy lodge, and we finally have it. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to find a spot, and he's going to stay there. That's so cool. He's actually a gray as well, so sort of a, a fur variation. That's awesome. So, first interesting thing today is a albino springbuck, which is apparently resting, but also jumping around, so... If it stops again, I'm just going to try to crack it out there. It's not one that I really need quick kill on. Can you sit still for a second? I haven't actually looked at the rest of these. A couple of black browns, but nothing very big. In fact, I think they rest right down there usually. But if I can speed up the process, I will take that. I don't even know where I'm going to put... Eh, I think I do know where I'm going to put that. I've got what I think is actually another maybe level 3 albino, but I messed it up. So, if anything, it's just going to be a higher scoring one that's going to replace it. But, yeah, it's nice to see a, a rare out here. I've been saying for a while now, I'm almost more interested in the rares than the diamonds for a lot of the species. So, that's quite nice to see. Hi. How you doing? I don't know if I heart shot it or what, but sure. Yep. Alright, cool. I do not know how far we are in, but I think maybe an hour and a half. So, yeah, hour and a half, first interesting animal. I haven't had even a level four Gemsbuck, which is kind of the nice thing about doing Verhunger for this. I'm pretty much guaranteed to at least get a Diamond Gemsbuck at some point, but that's quite nice. Little silver. I, like I said, I think it's the same size as the other one I have. Maybe even smaller by trophy rating, but as I said, I messed it up, so that's a better total score anyway. So, interestingly enough, 
I found another one. To be honest, that doesn't look as big as the, the one we started the video with. But, it may also be because I'm above it. It's definitely still huge. And I'm definitely going to try to be a little more uh, intelligent about my shot placement. Just put that there. And if I can get a can check, that would be nice. I don't need one necessarily. They should probably start trotting in sight, I think. Maybe not. No. Well. Turn. No. Ah, I'm just going to go get it. I'll get his track and see. If it is going to be a diamond, then I'll go get a can check. Uh, otherwise, won't worry about it. But, yeah. I don't see level 5 male Gemma's Buck that often. Then to get two in a matter of, I don't know, 14 hours, something like that. Pretty interesting. Where is yo twack? Of course, you're the one that doesn't leave tracks through here. Should I just go in blind? Yeah, apparently. Guess we'll find out whether it was a diamond or not. I mean, I guess I have one, so I shouldn't be too worried, but... I wouldn't mind throwing another one up in the lodge if he does make diamond. But like I said, I, I do actually think it's smaller. And it is. 924. So I don't know if there actually is a difference in the horns, but I immediately felt like it wasn't as big. So I guess I'll mount it. I've been talking about uh, having like a, a lodge for every map as well as my personal best lodge. So if I do that, it'll be nice to have that somewhere in there. So I forgot to mention with the Gemsbuck that we are right about two and a half hours in and I, I want to mention that when I'm doing these videos because uh, I've said it myself and I've had comments saying like this sets a unrealistic expectation for what you can find in the game so I guess when I don't say how long I'm actually playing that's that's definitely fair enough but I just had that fast traveled and now there's a level 5 Wordlebeast so waiting for him to turn broadside 454 should be good at that range. Unfortunately it's getting dark but hopefully he'll do that eventually. Preferably not behind a bunch of other stuff. Or kind of behind a bunch of other stuff. I don't know if I just trust myself with it being this dark to go for a hard shot. Maybe I should try it. That'll work. And can check. Sweet. Um, I think this is going to be much along the same vein as that level 5 Gemma's Buck we just shot. Unless... I think the other world beast I have is a level five, but um, yeah, probably something for for like a for Hunga specific lodge eventually. But just to be sure, yeah, this is the the Kincheck one, and we're still fine after fast travel, so this should be something like a 960s, 970s diamond. Ooh, 977. He's almost the weight for the bigger horns. In that case, he will get on the main lodge because he is better than whatever I have. I think it's the one behind the albino lion, so not too bad. Heart, right, lung, lever, I think maybe would have held a quick kill if we missed the heart, but we'll take those. I like Wildebeest. They look cool. So I'm not really sure how far into the video we are at this point because I took a pretty big break. It was just getting like way too hot in here, so I got my AC in, all that stuff, but we do have another rare, and I kind of think I might just throw a 338 round at it because it is a female. I really don't want to track it. That's going to bring it down pretty quickly, but that's probably another thing for the uh, the lodge I mentioned earlier, like a map specific. Have that somewhere in there, but yeah, pretty cool. That'll be male and female albino kudu, because I do have a male mounted already. At least we're actually getting variety of the day, because I've done hunts like this before where it's a lot of the same thing. But other than two level five male gemsbuck, pretty much everything's been different. I like that. Keep things interesting. All the rares today. That's a melanistic kudu. And it's a male, so I'd like to make the shot, but... Unless I can... That might have worked. I don't really know where I'm going to put that, unless... Eh, if it tops the albino, maybe I'll replace that. I'm not really sure. I think the albino might look better, but... That was kind of random. Just fast traveled here, and he was nearly run through the bushes. Also, it's raining outside, and as I just mentioned, I have my air conditioner in the window now, so you might be able to hear that. Hopefully not, but if you do, that's what that is. 
It actually probably wouldn't be a horrible thing to be replacing the albino, because I've got two other albinos in the same room anyway. He is just a silver. 794, so it is definitely a little bit bigger than the albino. Probably same horns. We'll see. We'll take a look and see what it looks like in there, but... Got both of the uh, rare kudu variations in a matter of, like, an hour and a half. That's kind of cool. And I think we are going to wrap it up here. So we got a couple of pretty good kills. I think four total additions to the lodge because we got the new world of beast. So this one's a little bigger than the other. Unfortunately, he still looks the same, but he is higher scoring this, which is definitely my favorite from today. I could not believe we found that. Finally got the actual diamond male Gemsbuck after Verhunk has been out for, well, I guess Gemsbuck were later. I'd say five or six months anyway. I don't remember exactly when Gemsbuck came out. But then we got the Melanus to Kudu here. And I realized I could just not be stupid and put the Albino right there. I didn't even have anything there. So, yeah, we got to fit everything in. And I think the Melanus to fits in better since there, like I said, there are two more Albinos. Nice little contrast with the Melanus to Kudu. But, yeah, that is going to do it. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.